Walking through land he once owned in Myanmar's Karen state, Kise Lei remembers how he lost his farm. He says that in 2015, an ethnic armed group offered him about $100 for it, an offer he wasn't allowed to refuse. They forced me to take the money. With that amount of money, we could buy rice and other supplies for our family. So my wife took the money and kept it. Otherwise, we wouldn't get anything for the land. This property is now a rubber tree plantation. It's just another example of the risks of living in this part of Myanmar, which has been ravaged by seven decades of war between government forces and various groups. The fight for control of the region and its resources has seen hundreds of thousands of hectares of land confiscated. And rights groups say a new law could add to that. People living in some areas were given until this week to apply for an official permit for land they're working or living on. The reform's part of government measures to bring investment and development to rural areas. Critics like Alex Saw say it's just a legal way to seize land. Millions of people across the country will become landless. Uh, they will be forced to leave their land. Or they will, their land will be taken by companies and different business entities. He's teaching people in Nong Ta La village about the complexities of the law. Here, property ownership is often based on traditional rights, which means many people have nothing to prove they own their house and land. Mato Air bought her house 10 years ago, but doesn't have any papers. She'd planned to pass her property on to her daughter. Now she's worried that won't be possible. I don't have any hope or expect any miracles. I have no idea what I should be doing. The Karen National Union, which controls the area, says the law could risk its fragile ceasefire with the government. The government is using this vacant fellow virgin land management law to expand the administration into the uh, armed organization's territories. These peaceful scenes hide the community's fear of eviction or jail for being branded trespassers on their own land. Alexia O'Brien, Al Jazeera.